Hey, coming up next, Nissan Pathfinder. Hey, Mark Savage here, Savage on Wheels. Uh, brand new 2023 Nissan Pathfinder. This is the Platinum Edition, so that's the top of the line, which uh, you would expect, you know, like they give us car riders the top of the line because they want to see all the good stuff. Uh, kind of a metallic brown, Paul. Yeah, not not a uh, favorite color. It's, I, you know, it's not, I mean, I like the fact that it's metallic, but it's... Uh, you don't really see the metallic that much. You know, it's, it's a little different. Um, Baja Storm is okay. what they call it. But anyway, I think it's a good looking vehicle. I think they've done a nice job on this. Uh, of course, we got a big logo. Always got to have the big logo. But then lights, I kind of like the shape of those. And uh, big wheels, the protection over the, over the uh, wheel wells. Uh, and it's, you know, this will go off road. It's not a problem to take this thing off road. And uh, it's big, it's a three row. And we'll show you how that, how that is as far as uh, size and getting in and out of that. Uh, but I drove this one all the way to Virginia and back, which is a rarity for me that I get a vehicle this long to go take that ride. So thanks to Nissan for doing that. But uh, really nice family vehicle. Gonna, you can get eight in here if you get the bench seat in the middle, but this one has captain's chair, so a, a seven passenger vehicle. Oh my. So one of the features that the Pathfinder has, as long as you got the fob in your pocket you just wave your foot underneath here you got to make sure you get it in the right spot I don't I can't remember exactly. of course it worked before oh there, oh, there it, goes. it goes all right there we go so you got an auto you know if I'm carrying a lot of boxes and stuff I can do that it's got matting in here this uh, rubber matting which is nice for if you got to carry a lot of stuff and uh, this is you can put the third row seat down get lots of room in here I'm gonna do that so I can keep pull it up the only problem with these things is occasionally they flip up and you got to crawl in to find them. But uh, the matting is great if you're just going to throw stuff in the back. But when we have luggage in here, we try to slide luggage. Slides around? No, it's when you get it about here, it doesn't want to slide up easily over that. So you oh. got to, you know, and I'm a little weak old guy, so I, you know, I have to pick that up and do that. Toss it in there. Let's show you inside because it does have the third row. And they call this, I think, easy flex seats. You punch a button on the side. Woo, look at that. That's nice. That is nice. So you can easily crawl up in here. And I guess I should put this seat up. But the nice thing is, whoops, let me get the headrest up, is that you can adjust that seat. Like right now, it's pretty far back, Paul. Yeah. So I don't have a lot of room back here. <laughs> Why don't you just pull that lever on the side and slide it forward a little bit. Oh, I'm sorry, there's a front lever in the front in the front oh, there. Oh, there it is. There it is. Oh, okay, there we go. But if we do that, now all of a sudden, look, I got I got knee room back here, man. That's all right. Can you see my knee? Ooh. Yeah, uh, a little knee room, but... A little knee room. But, I mean, you know, a person uh, can ride back here for a short period. Uh, I don't know if you'd want to have uh, anything other than a kid back here for a long trip. Are we there yet? No. 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 Then there's a button on the back of the seat right there. I push, and again, it jumps right forward, and it's easy for the third row person to crawl out. So, pluses for that. And then, little sun shades in the back, that's nice. And then we'll show you the rest of the interior in just a second. So with this Platinum version, uh, you know, not only a leather wheel, we got leather seats. This is a semi-anilin, which I don't know what anilin would be, but nonetheless. <laughs> Another uh, marketing term. Yeah, brown edges. Uh, kind of a dark blackish gray seat. That's nice. Uh, again, we've mentioned the giant sunroof. Uh, I don't know. It's, a, it's just a very comfortable vehicle. We got the inside release here. Uh, we got a parking system over here that you can use. Uh, all the sensors, all of the uh, semi autonomous steering, everything is here. So, uh, you know, this one's loaded up. Well, uh, you know, this Pathfinder is a big three row vehicle so it's got a pretty good ride uh but as paul and i were noticing uh it's a little stiff yeah and, it is and it's it's surprising to me because as, as i was telling paul i drove this on a trip down to virginia and back and we we're three of us with luggage and everything was fine nice and smooth and i thought well this is really you know a great ride until i got back home here in wisconsin and i'm sorry our roads are pathetic they are uh, bad and uh 
there are so many choppy roads here that I noticed that it has a stiffer ride for that. Certainly on any highway that's fairly smooth, uh, great family vehicle because you can ride, you know, uh, comfortably, and plenty of power, a 284 horsepower with a, a V6 in this, and I don't know, that was just surprising to me that I did not notice how stiff this ride can be until we got back on the rough roads of Wisconsin. Uh, otherwise, great vehicle interior, very comfortable, uh, a giant Speaking sunroof. Poles. Contrast in sizes of vehicles. Size of vehicle. We can put that one in the, the back Chevy of this. This Chevy Spark. I yeah. think that's a Spark up there. Yeah, yeah we had one of those. Yeah. Uh, Not our favorite. Yeah, it could be that. A Veo, too, though. And then a, yeah, yeah, it's a tiny car. Yeah, it's a tiny car. Flintstone Mobile. Paul, you got a grab bar over here. So yeah, I got the... I, got, I know this is hard to believe in, a, in an SUV. <laughs> I got a flat, oh, wow. flat bottom wheel. Nissan is great about flat bottom wheels, and, and congrats to Nissan for figuring those out. I will say this, though. I'm a short driver, I get the seat pretty far forward, and when I do that, even with that flat, unless you got the flat down there, it's a little bit tough for me to get out without moving the wheel. The good news is, check this out, power, tilt, and telescope wheel, that's, that's nice. nice. Yeah, and the other nice thing is that on the highway, you can kind of lower it down so you're, you know, your arms are getting a little more rest. Uh, in town, when you might want to see a few things here, you can power it back up a little bit, that's good. Uh, a nice dash, good sized buttons, big map and screen. Uh, we got heated and cooled seats. Not, a, you know, I had a Land Rover recently that did not have cooled seats. What's up with that? Ninety grand or so. Uh, and they probably wouldn't work after a while. Well, uh, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go there. <laughs> but okay, uh, heated steering wheel. That's a plus. And uh, right, as our, my trip started out, it was actually cold, so I got to use all that. Then we cut down to Virginia, it was in the 80s, so it was kind of, you know, didn't need that so much. But the cool seats came in handy. Um, I don't know, I really, I like the interior of this uh, vehicle. And uh, certainly plenty of room and, and three row seats. We'll show you how much room there is in the back. And obviously, if you put down that third row seat, oodles and oodles of uh, storage space in that cargo area. And of course, a power hatch. Different drive modes? Oh, drive modes. <laughs> did I forget that? Yeah. Yeah, you did. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven drive modes. Everything from sport to eco to mud rut. Uh, so, you know, here, if we can turn that. That's eco, Paul, so we'll see how that feels, if it makes us feel like we got any power or not. Well, let's come around this turn here, and we'll see. Uh, eco usually slows your acceleration just a bit. Yeah, it's, it's kind, yeah. Of, kind of mild. Uh, but here we got, uh, we'll go, that's auto, that's what you're gonna be in most of the time. There's snow, mud, rut. That's, you know, for all, when you're taking this baby off-road and hey, Pathfinder will go off-road, no problem. Uh, we got sand, and then we gotta go back the other way to get to sport. There's sport, and we'll punch that. Well, yeah, and, you know, it's, it's a Pathfinder. It's, it's not. A, it's yeah. It's it, not a sports car. No, it's got it's got decent power, and we were in the mountains with this, so the mountains, not a problem as far as getting up the mountains. But what I noticed is that there is a lag in the acceleration. So as you you know press the gas pedal, you, you got to press it, press it, and then it kind of finally kicks in a little bit. So when you're going up a hill, you have to anticipate a little bit ahead of time to get that so that it. You know, it can get you your little boost so you're not just uh, dragging up that hill. Pathfinder's got a big range. Starts about $36,000. That's going to be for a two-wheel drive. About $1,900, $2,000 bucks extra to get four-wheel drive. So, you know, $39,000, 39000 you can go with that. This one goes for a little over $54,000. And this is the top of the line. You got, like, I think three or four different models in between there. So you got some choices. But, hey, this is a large... SUV, and that's $50,000 is a pretty normal price tag for those these days. But this is a nice one. Pathfinder, give it a look. Thanks for watching. Hey, thanks for watching. We're going to see you next time.